So I'm surprising my wife with something today. And, but first I gotta do some chimney work. The shower's so long. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I got a little help. Okay, up in the attic again. Game plan is right here, there's a seam of plywood going through. That's why they have this two by six here. All right, so when I bought my triple wall pipe, I went ahead and bought two three foot sections because I was assuming this was going to be roughly three feet in here and then another three feet out the top with enough clearance of all the other roof lines and all those things you're supposed to do. But I went ahead and bought another one foot section and another two foot section just in case I was way off and if I needed to configure the pipes differently. When I was down below, I went ahead and measured how far it was from that center from over here and how far from the top of the roof to here. One thing that would have been wise for me to do is test fit the pieces together before I started putting things in the roof and the ceiling just to understand fully how it all goes together. So, so far, every single piece of chimney, pipe, the box, come from all different sources, uh, but they've all been Duravent brand, have been damaged. Every single piece has been damaged so far. <laughs> Alright, I think I got that repaired enough. Thought I might run into that. Just went to the hardware store, found out this boot is the wrong size for this pipe. I watched maybe the top 20 or so YouTube videos on ch uh, wood stove installs and chimney pipe installs between professionals and home, you know, steadying or DIYers or whatever. None of them mentioned a few different points that I've already learned now the hard way. And so I'm gonna do a long video. I'm gonna probably do multiple videos on just installing a wood stove. Cause as much research as I've done, I still have gotten a lot of things wrong. So hopefully someone will be able to learn from my many mistakes. So as of this moment, I now have to order another flashing uh, boot that will actually fit this pipe because this is a six inch triple wall pipe, but it's not actually six inches, it's 10 inches. This is a boot for a six inch pipe, but this is a 10 inch pipe, even though it's a six inch pipe. It's just one of those assumed things you must know. Granted, it's my fault for not reading the diameters of a six inch pipe in the, not fine print, but on the spec sheet will say, 10 inches for a six inch pipe. Makes sense, right? Yeah. So change of plans, not getting to install the chimney pipe through the roof today before the thunderstorm and then more cold weather. I will instead be ordering the part and waiting for another warmish spell. Uh, it could be next week, uh, but I also need to get the part by then. So we'll see. Not make a big hole in the roof yet. I just made one tiny hole, a size of like a pen. So I should be able to seal that up. And some people say football is a game of inches, but it's nothing like chimney pipe installation. That is a game of inches. Of a boot that goes from six inch to nine inch. I just need one more inch and I could be installing our wood stove fully today, allegedly, because there could easily be something else that went wrong or gone wrong, so. One inch away, I just ordered it, the new one. Should be here in a week. 
So since the chimney installs on hold, I'm switching to prepping this desk that's uh, disassembled at the moment. That will be shipping out in a couple of weeks to a client. And I'm just trying to move forward. I'm really bummed about the wood stove and uh, being at least a week delay at this point. I just hope the weather doesn't get crazy in a week so that I can do it then. Otherwise, it just feels like winter is kind of passing us by or we're in the midst of it. So I just, I'd love to get the wood stove done before much more winter transpires. I'm shifting my plan. I wanted to surprise Ariel with this little Danish planter that she always dreamed of having in our own home one day. I bought this off a friend named Kyle. And so I'm gonna just clean off the paint here on the legs and then go put it in the house, hopefully without her knowing, and then show her. Our swing came in the mail and we're pretty excited about this, putting it together. Oh, well, we're working on the swing. To try to go get the other thing down? So today has been kind of a hard day for Leif and I. Um, just a lot on our plates and kind of feeling a little run down and I look out and see this. <laughs> Makes it all worth it. That's why we're doing it. Very exciting. Last bit of carpet. Got this thug working for me. <laughs> this is a behind the scenes floor scraping that you rarely get to see. So we have barricaded our children out of the downstairs. Everybody's gone to bed. But we need to pour some self-leveling compound to level out this wonky pad right here. My matching fair ladies going, a going to a party together. <laughs> yeah, fun. Hello, it's a new day. Yesterday, you've seen some of those videos. There were some fail moments and some disappointments. I had to get over that and Move on to doing the desk. I surprised Ariel with that cool planter thing, which when I took tried taking the video, the uh, I got her reaction, but the phone memory ran out before the video uh, recorded that moment, so didn't get that. That's fine. Um, so now I'm working on the hardwood floors again today. I'm pretty excited to now be working on the other side of the hearth. Ariel is feeling much better today. I am feeling better overall. And so I'm grateful for another day. Today is just about tons of cuts. It's been a lot of planning, measuring. So far I'm pretty pleased with uh, how things are going. So I've been working on this pretty much all day. Look at how far I've gotten. So I've done about 14 rows today. You're my hero. The crowd goes wild. 
This is the closing remarks of the video. Does anyone want to say anything or forever hold your peace? I'm grateful for all this work my daddy's done. Wow, that was seriously unscripted. I did not know that was coming. Thank you, honey. That's funny. Thank you. I just I can't believe how much this hardwood floor has just transformed the space. Like yeah. so much yuck of the nasty carpet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the linoleum, the sticky Oh, and I'm so grateful for this floor. Definitely dream come true. I think we should just all. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> I think we should just move into the living room at this point. There you go. Save a lot of money not doing the rest of the house. <laughs> all right. Bye. No, no, no. Wait for me. Say bye.